The big firing today, Yahoo CEO Carol Bartz. But there's more to the story because wait till you hear how she was told. They did it over the phone. In an email, Bartz let all Yahoo employees know how this went down, saying, I'm very sad to tell you that I've just been fired over the phone by Yahoo's chairman of the board. And Karen Gregian is a human resources professional. She joins us for some insight into the firing process and the etiquette involved. And you hear this, and I mean, okay, maybe this would happen in some small company, but firing a, the CEO of Yahoo over the phone, that's pretty cold. Yeah, I think most people would agree that's not the proper way to handle a firing. Hmm. So uh, what is the worst situation that you've come across, or maybe a couple of situations uh, through all your human resources work that uh, make you take a step back, kind of scratch your head and wonder what were they thinking? Well, I had one particular company that they had about 100 employees and they were planning on closing a location and terminating all the employees in that location. So they sent all of the employees a letter saying, you're terminated as of this date, and then a week later they changed their mind and, <laughs> and just made a company announcement and said, you know, no, we really want you to stay and, and you're not terminated. Really? And Any others? I mean, that one there, <laughs> I can see how they felt like uh, the uh, uh, chess pieces in a game there, just back right, and right. forth being toyed with. Right. I had another example of a company that, a uh, client that said she wanted to fire somebody, but she would prefer that the employee would quit so he wouldn't be able to collect unemployment. So she <laughs> said, well, can't we just move his office, not include him in meetings, make his life miserable, and just generally be mean to him so he finally is so miserable that he quits. And I just looked at her and said, you know, yeah, you can do that, but you don't need human resources for that, and I left. What are some of the things that shouldn't be said when an employee is being let go? Uh, you know, anything to do with, you know, you're better off without this place or, or something, you know, I'm um, sure you'll find a better job out there, you know, it really doesn't make the person feel any better, so mm. it's probably just to remain silent on that. Mm. And what about the employee who's being fired? Uh, how should they handle themselves? Because, you know, there can be a lot of uh, sometimes shock or surprise, anger, uh, people being upset about losing their job and pressure. Uh, how should they handle themselves? I mean, I recommend that people retain control over their emotions if possible and try not to burn any bridges because y you may end up either working for that person mm -hmm. some other time again or seeing them at a different company or uh, getting called back to your company too if it's, you know, layoff reasons and not performance related. Yeah, I've always heard that's one of the most important. Uh, and so we'll say thank you. You did a All wonderful right. job because we thank never you. know when our paths will cross again. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Karen Gregan, thanks good. so much for your time tonight. Thank you.